Yes. Hello, dear people, and welcome to another Sleep Well. And as you can see, we are in the newest version of Minecraft in the latest release uh, in 1.21.2. And um, we are in this version and in this specific screen here because I made an oopsie. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Um, I made an oopsie because I, I free created our sleep well, uh, which basically rode over the whole map. It was still the same seat, so we were in the same world and everything was the same, but basically all progress was gone. Um, so, I mean, I still have it here, so I think it was this one. No. I thought I still had it. <laughs> But yeah, I now recreated this one. Um, here is this again. You can see that we have two of these. I can basically delete this one. We have this one now. I had to recreate it as well because I had too many trouble, uh, too much trouble with the recording before. So now we've recreated it and we can basically start from the very beginning, from scratch basically. So in this world, I know it a little bit already, we have over there, oh, so I thought I knew, over there was somewhere a forest, so we have wood, and um, the only good, the good thing about this is there is some animals, uh, for food actually, for the first time, Ooh, it's here, and we also have a savanna biome over there, so this is kind of good. And I, for my part, uh, while I started recording this, this was, I tell you, this was an odyssey. First of all, there was no, there was no background sounds. So no game sounds have been recorded. The background music wasn't recorded. This was, this was so annoying. Uh, it took me like, I don't know, two hours maybe to just find out what the problem was with this. Um, and of course I started recording without realizing this, so yeah, I'm, I'm, sometimes I'm a very smart person. Um, but yeah, here we go. Let me take this so we can make sticks and, uh, and a pickaxe. So we will not need a lot actually. Oh, here's another stick. I'll come back here. Uh, I just take a few more locks with us and we can go to so, uh, basically we can go somewhere where we where that where stone because i need stone tools this is the first thing i want to do um beside the wood oh no maybe okay wait we change the we change the direction a little bit we go here for the sheep <laughs> hello good day sir you are mine because we will need food and a bed. This is like maybe the most important part now. I wonder why they never drop like two blocks of wool. Because now you have just... Or maybe give, give five of these. Because now you have only one sheep and yeah, to basically breed them will be, ha <laughs> will be very hard now. So, where do we have stone? Mm. Yeah, and I nearly got scammed yesterday. This was kind of interesting. <laughs> it was on... It was in Tommy and its housing. Uh, on Hypixel. That was kind of interesting. A dude came up to me there. Was like, oh, can we be friends? And I was like, oh, why not? Maybe he knows me from somewhere, so he knew my name. So I thought maybe this is someone who's nicked or so and who who I know and who knows me. So I thought call him. No, 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 no. I hear you. I hear you. I don't want to hear you. I hear you too well. Not that I hear you. I, I just hear you too well. I don't like that he is so loud. And he came up to me, this guy, and um, he was like, oh yeah, can we be friends? And I was like, because he know my, knew my name, so I thought maybe it's some person nicked and he knew German, so I was like, okay, why not? And then he started asking for 
uh, if I could help him, if I no, first he wanted uh, he wanted me to ask me if I need some free cosmetics on BLC uh, on on the bad line client, and I was like, no, I'm good, thank you, I don't need cosmetics because you know I just don't need them, I just I don't want them, and he was like, are you sure they are for free? I was like, yeah, I'm sure. And the thing was also that I am very careful, even if I friend you, with people who I see the very first time in my life, <laughs> you know. I don't know what people think what I am, that I'm completely stupid or so. Uh, I mean, this must be the case, because otherwise he wouldn't try st such stupidity to do to someone he, he barely or doesn't even know, like, completely. So, yeah, I was like, no, thanks, I'm fine. Uh, have a nice day, sir, and stuff like that. And he started then, you know, you can see that someone wants to scam you. This is now, this is now something you, you can learn from me. Uh, when they try to get you in emotional, they want to catch you emotional and uh, emotionally. So you think that, for instance, they try to say, oh, I'm so sad now. And yeah, just don't give a damn shoot about it because this is how scammers work. They they try to get you in an emotional state and then you, you, you know, then you hopefully you will be willing to say yes to what they want because this is what works for them the best, right? So uh, don't get scammed on the internet. Learn from Gamba. And, uh, you know, I'm very good at sensing stuff like this. I'm very... I see this like immediately, so you you have basically no chance to scam me. And this is not now, you know, for people to try. I've I've basically deactivated everything. I'm not accepting friendships anymore as well. So it doesn't happen to me the second time. And uh, yeah, you know, this is like this is how fast it can go. He especially wanted me to join some some uh, some chat w uh, which I only can access uh, you know through opening a link I mean and when I hear link and read link in a chat that someone wants me to open the chat in a link this is where all my red alerts are you know going crazy uh, I don't know who this guy is and uh, he knew German so it must be a German dude um, but yeah, if you see this, freak you, man. I don't, I don't, will, I will never ever participate in stuff like that. I don't care. I don't care if it's for free, you know. I, especially you can see that these people think that you are completely stupid. And that they never, that they can, you know, with words that they can make you do it anyway. So you say, I said like no five or six times to this dude. And he still was like... Oh yeah, but listen, it's for free. I was like, I don't care if it's for free. <laughs> I just don't want it. Don't you understand it? Yeah, then... And then when I didn't want it for myself, then he said, then help me at least to get it for myself. And I was like, okay, and what should we do? Yeah, we still have to go to this chat and you have to open this link. And I was like, no, I'm not opening any links. <laughs> this is like, what? what is wrong with people, man? This, I, I really don't understand what people think. You know, this is like, don't get scammed on the internet, guys. Guys and girls, you know, be careful with everyone who you speak to on the internet, especially, especially me, no. <laughs> no, I mean everyone, basically everyone. There is, you know, I was, when I was young, I was like believing in, in the good of, people and laws and everything until I saw, until I started law school and saw how, how, how actually dark uh, humans are uh, when, when you let them be, right? This is like, this is crazy. I, um, especially as a law uh, student back then, I mean, I also have been, I also had a um, practice session where we had to where we had to as law students of course where we had to uh, go to the prosecutor in our area and uh, visit the local jail 
and people who I saw there, this is like, these guys are, these are guys, <laughs> these guys are insane. They're completely crazy. They were like, we had like, we were two dudes and then the rest was of course women because I don't know, in Germany somehow the, uh, there is more women in law than, than men. And these guys, they saw these women and were like, hey, who, hey, come here and do uh, you. Oh, oh, creeper, no, no. Did he see me? Didn't see me. There's two creepers. Three creepers? Okay, then now they saw me. I don't care. I have to go. I'm leaving. No. Wait. That's not, not a good idea. Wait. Did, did they actually see me? No, I can't see them. It's annoying. it's annoying. The problem is, they basically know that I'm here now. So they might come when the sun is down. They might just come immediately for me. So the idea was basically... This is why we are here in this area, because I love this, I love this view here so much, from, especially from here, it might be like, like this, look, look how peaceful this looks like. I love shaders in this game so much. I just love it so much, especially this uh, bliss shader here. It's, it's, it's unique in my eyes. Um, I don't know why I took this away now, because I think, I think that we make a house where you can access here and then you have like on this height maybe so you can basically look over this whole area here a little bit so let's go to bed because the sun is setting and as i said i don't want any i don't want any uh creepers to and we could make like two stores then so basically one store will be on uh on this level here so we have the sun from from the day here and then in the evening hours we have this beautiful view and especially this area with the shader it's like a little bit misty a little bit foggy something like that it's a little bit mysteri mysterious i love i love this sheesh <laughs> i love stuff like that and of course uh, if you see up here you could see up here a white boat that which means that we have Yes, that we have the creaking in this game. So I want to check out, maybe not in this episode, but sure in, in other episodes, I want to check out the creaking uh, also in this game here. I know this is more for falling asleep and, you know, nothing like, like a little bit of endless game. What you say? Uh, but... Um, but maybe it's also a good idea to visit the creaking here in this game, right? So there's a little bit of sand. We will need sand for... Hey, let me go there. <laughs> Stupid pig. Um, what is this here? The problem is um, I would like to keep this area completely intact. That means I don't want to destroy anything of here where I can see uh, or look at basically. So we are going somewhere else for the sand. Uh, even though even though we don't look on this side, but uh, this is not enough, obviously. So not even worth my, my, <laughs> my power. <laughs> not worth my power. And it's super nice. Oh, is it getting, is it starting to rain? Will it rain? This is why I love the shader so much. It's cloudy. The the sun is hidden. It looks a little bit like it's getting night. Oh yeah, I will need food. Uh, see, forgot about that. Maybe the first thing I should get, the next first thing I should get is um, maybe a second bed. So we have like, oh. Ah, true. After these biomes, always comes a dark oak biome. Wait a second. The creaking in, is in this game. And the, these biomes, the pale gardens, they basically spawn in the dark oak forests. Wait, wait, wait. But the problem is I need food. I can't. 
<laughs> I can't to go explore now. Okay, we know. We know when we go down this lane from our base that there is a dark oak forest. Okay. Just I should just not forget it, which is really bad because I keep forgetting stuff a lot. <laughs> this is not good. To say it in PewDiePie's words, I have the brains of a of a goldfish. Oh, I take the I will take the stone though, because we will need stone and there's more there's more coal. Uh, the problem is I'm a little bit afraid uh, because in the second in the second recreated uh, seed uh, I dig <laughs> I dig straight down and then I fell into luckily into water <laughs> just into a water cave but you know imagine this would be a real one then I would be dead <laughs> and would be super sour about it so here we are good coal we need the coal all the coal goes into my pocket. The funny thing is, we in German, we have coal as, uh, we use coal, Kohle. You, you hear the, you hear basically the similar similarity out. Uh, Kohle is also, you know, to say that you have money. Ich habe Kohle, I have money. Of course you don't say that you have coal in your pocket, you, you have money in your pocket. <laughs> Wait, uh, okay, now I'm a little bit confused. Am I, wh where am I running? <laughs> where am I running to? Oh, there's a pig. I, sorry, piggy. You, are, you, are, you have to go. You have to go. I need the food. I'm very sorry. I know, p I know people love piggies now. No one is killing, since Techno's death, death uh, no one is killing piggies anymore. In Minecraft, I'm very sorry, I have to do it for the food. Hello. P for the progress. For... Gambanistan. <laughs> can, you, can I eat you? No. They just produce... <laughs> Did you ever realize that you're eating when you eat honey? That you're eating bee spit, basically? I mean, of course, this is like nectar from, they make uh, nectar from, from the, oh god, what was it, powder? No. <laughs> uh, from the, <laughs> all right, we can make, actually, actually we can make a smoker, because this is way faster to get stuff done, especially when you want to cook food. Uh, when you have a smoker. So this is, I think, the second most important thing in this game to get the smoker really quick. I got a little bit sniffy since yesterday. I don't know why. Um, wasn't even outside this much. But yeah, you know, I had, f I had some apartments and you have to go through the city so people... Especially this... During this time now, it's getting like very wet. Depends, of course, where you are in this world. But here in northern Germany, uh, we are really like okay. We have now a little bit of sun since the last two days, uh, uh, last two three days. But in general, it's really uh, it is actually really uh, wet here in in fall autumn, whatever you want to call this. So the idea was actually to go for maybe here and I don't know, I would then I would then just go like here. Dum dum dum. Not too too close to this uh, area there. <laughs> and then maybe like here and then take this whole thing as the first base, something like that. But of course, we will need more. We will need many more to uh, many more tool. What? I still have one. Many more tools and trees, because the tree is what we need. The problem is in the beginning, of course, that you always try to have enough resources for tools, because this will become very annoying when you have then to. This is gone. You have then. No sticks, 
no cobblestone anymore. And then you have to build something. And then you just have wood or something. And then you have to take the wooden stuff again. So I'm taking this with me now again. Because, because we can, of course. And replacing this somewhere, somewhere where it's needed. And it is needed here, in this area. Okay, so let's take away like, this layer here. Yeah, one might come to the conclusion now. Oh, Gumba, but what is with this and that? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you are right, uh, friend. It is not very safe, right? This area is not really safe, so... Um, I know that especially when we make a balcony in the morning, in the morning hours and when we forget to sleep, uh, that, you know, creeper zombies can fall on our head. So, um, I don't care. <laughs> this is my response to it. I just don't care. Um, so, wait a second. Where is... Um, okay, wait. We have stone, which is not too bad because then... I can basically make, we can build a wall, oops, so when this is the flooring then, mm, and this is the flooring, so we have on this level, uh, I would like to have like a wall, right, so we can, luckily we have enough of cobblestone right now, so we can start doing this here a little bit. Mm. It's even better than the first idea I had. I had the idea just to make a normal house here, but I think it is cool when we have something on this, uh, you know, on this on this side of the of this hill, whatever this is here. Oh no, it's getting it's getting. Look at this! It's so beautiful. How would you not want to have here like a, a huge glass front? And then a little balcony where you can r walk around. And then look at this in the evening hours. Oh, there are saplings. So, here we are. The idea is then, of course, uh, to make a two-story house out of this. So, maybe this will be like, I don't know, the when this is the second floor, or the lower part of the house. Uh, which I will use now, of course, for for a primary base because um, this is like it's. Uh, oh, we have no stone. See how see how fast this is used up. Um, I know that somewhere I saw somewhere like a lot of stone, like a huge stony area. Wait, we have a boat. We can actually go. I just hope that I will find this area back here. There's some... Oh, here's some sand. Maybe we can take from here then. But as I said, the area where we live, I would like to keep stuff intact. Uh, trees is a little bit different because we can replant tea, uh, trees a lot. So, this is no problem with reproducing. Here is a lot of stone. some tea with honey of course this is um, the best thing you can do tea with honey in such a case and the thing is I have to be very quick with this because uh, with the stone actually because I want to as you can see our pickaxe is about to to break so I hope we can use this pickaxe I just love this shader. I know that this shader is right now in, in the beta version. Beta version? I, I don't know how you say that, how you pronounce this in English. Um, but, um, but it's still really good looking, working from time to time. I have leg spikes, but this is normal, I guess. I, I think there will be some final fixes in the, in the final release, but for now I'm super happy with what we have. And especially they are, they were very, very quick with the release of this version. Um, super happy that it's, I'm super happy that it works. Something like this, for example, that the water is looking through the, 
boat, even though the boat is fully intact and you can go by boat. See, there's water in my boat all the time. <laughs> I see there, there's no stone. Is it no stone? Hey, there's coal. Okay, we stay here. <laughs> we really stay here for the coal. I came for the stone, I stay for the coal. Hello. This is super nice. And exactly, this is what I didn't want to happen. And this is exactly what... Hey, give me this. Because now we have to go back. The problem is that I didn't, of course, take my crafting table with me. Yeah, planning and so on. It's um, really, really good sometimes. I'm actually not too bad in planning. Um, but I think when it's stuff like this year, um, where my brain can rest more than... Because, you know, I, I do this... I think I do this more passively than I think I do it actively, actually. If you, if you get what I mean. <laughs> it sounded really strange, to be honest. Hello. No, I want the boat back, please. Thank you. So... Mm, yeah, it must have been here. It must be somewhere here. Oh no, wait, I had all the stuff in my inventory. I'm so dumb. <laughs> yeah, I think sometimes I'm a little bit, uh, maybe not nervous, but distracted, because the thing is, I already did this so many times, and there was always like new problems, and now when I get, you know, I have some something happens then my brain is always like uh wait i have to think about it now 50 minutes <laughs> this is maybe not the best not the best for like a running uh, let's play or whatever this is i i will take the bed though because hopefully i don't forget about it because just in case the sun is setting and we are not we are still not here we are not still back we are still not back. Oh my god. Um, by the way, never drink tea with honey and speak a lot. I I have to burp every, sing, uh, every five seconds now. And of course, I don't want to burp into your ears. People with headphones will thank me later. Oh, you like that. <laughs> and then, of course, I could change the... <laughs> No, no, let's keep, we will keep it clean and, uh, and you know, with manners. It's the uh, highest priority so far right now. <laughs> clean and with manners. This is like, what is this? Oh, it's not too bad, not too bad. Ah, oh, here we go. There's more. And maybe some acacia wood. Because, this, wait, did I take the bow? Of course not. This, see how fast this goes? I'm, I'm such a... I don't know what to say. I'm speechless of myself, you know? I made myself speechless <laughs> of my own behavior. <laughs> um, what is this? I see something good. I wonder why there's never... Oh, wow, rain. Really? Rain? Now? And of course, like, 50 mobs will spawn. The problem is I don't... I need iron for a shield. I don't want to fight mobs now. The question is, is it a thunderstorm? Or is it just simple rain? I think this area is... Pretty... Wait. This is easy to test. If you can sleep, then it's a thunderstorm. If not, it's just simple rain. And we need to eat something. I want to find iron, by the way. If you just if you just in case you are asking, what is he doing here? I'm hoping because this is very stony, as you can see. Oh, I'm hoping to find some iron. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, gravel. Sometimes close to gravel, there's always like some iron. 
Uh oh. That was too close to my ear. Where was she? This little snake. That was very close in my ear. I have, ear, uh, I have in ears now because the the Kraken, uh, Razor Kraken started, you know, the so called leather there was. Of course, it was artificial leather, but it started, you know, falling apart and I had all the small pieces on my desk, uh, which are, of course, neon green, so it looks really <laughs> shitty. So I had to get rid of them. They are still working and everything, but yeah, it's just that the, uh, the ear pads are basically uh, decomposing themselves. Oh no, no, don't don't do that. You don't want to fall 50 blocks into water again. I mean, water is not bad, but still. Then trying to get up again is really hard and annoying sometimes. It's like in life. Minecraft is like life. When you fall deep, you have to stand up and try to get on the top of, to the top again. This is Minecraft is life. It's it's just like that. You cannot you can you can't deny it. Minecraft is life. So you just you know I killed you for for the food, not the wool, because black wool is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them. <laughs> they they have to know what they did wrong. <laughs> did even ev does even anyone make black bats? I don't know why. I don't like black bats. I would like black for something else, but for anything else, I would like black. I would love to use it, but not f not for the bat. No, I, I don't know why. It's not that I'm like, you know, that I believe in like super superstitions or whatever this is called in English. But I don't know, it just doesn't fit me. I don't like it. I've never used like black wool for a bat. Even in the last in the last SMP where we had a lot of black wool actually. I don't even remember why we had so much. Uh oh, hello. I have a bed with me, there's no problem. No problem, no problem, we can go here. I think I take acacia wood, but after we have slept. I'm still hoping to find, instead of copper, some iron. Oh wait, this is promising here. This looks very, very promising. Wait, we stay here for the night. Now we're sleeping in the, sleeping in the rain. Sleeping in the rain, so the rain is over. This is very good. Hello, what is here? Can I find some iron here, please? Wait, we need torches because this is super dark. Yeah, there's iron. Look at this. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is actually pretty dangerous here. And of course, there's only one. But you know, with the new update they made it that you have to now look left and right for for iron, for resources. And I want a waterfall down there. Hello. I want something that helps me when I go down there. That actually helps me. Hmm. be honest this was not very deep <laughs> why did it look so deep <laughs> hello what is here hopefully no bad people who can shoot me with arrows <gasps> oh people can explode <laughs> oh my god <laughs> there was someone who could explode help me but to be honest when this is lit up and bright this should be a nice, maybe a nice area for a cave. Like, I don't know what is up there because I can't see it because it's too dark. 
but hey, there's coal, here's more iron. I take the, the more iron actually because, oh look at that, big vein, big vein. So we can have a shield, maybe maybe even a chest plate or something, if this would be enough. Chest plate is of course eight. I think this is, hey, this is enough. So we can have a chest plate and, and a shield. This is actually pretty convenient here. Hello, can you, I just want the coal. I just, I really, no, just the coal, just the coal, just the coal, please. Look how much coal they have. They don't want to share. No one wants to share. You know, in this world in, in that we live in, no one wants to share with you. Even if they say they want. It's a lie. All lies. <laughs> I mean, obviously, yes, there is like... You know what, which I never understood because... Uh, I never understood the 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 concept of selling knowledge because if everyone says that they're interested in this planet to you know to go on and to keep moving and everything should become better than it is now like improving then everyone should be obviously in, in interested in wait what did, did i get shot or what, what was that <laughs> Everyone basically should be then interested, of course, in giving you the knowledge for free, right? And not that you have to pay for it, like... But no, of course, there is the concept of schools, uh, that knowledge... You think when you go to school that everything is for free? No. Your parents pay for the books, for the meals, uh, for maybe some insurance that nothing... Just in case something happens to you on, on the way to your school or whatever. Um, nothing is for free. Uh, not even death is for free in this society, so... <laughs> I don't know why this topic has uh, is coming up. Uh, I guess because I started reading, you know, uh, if, if you have seen the last video, uh, this so-called daily vlog of mine, um, maybe then have you have seen uh, that I... <laughs> you know, during spooky time, I tend to... I think I'm not the only one... Uh, there was more, more, many more people uh, searching for like spooky stories on the internet, like creepy pastas and stuff like that. Uh, Mothman is coming up every year in my in my browser. <laughs> for example, for just for example. Oh, hello! You are this one, this dude. Another dude. Okay, yeah, there's two of them. I could breed them. Yeah, and I, you know, maybe Mothman not. Not anymore so much, but I have found out now about psychopaths, so I'm I'm reading a lot of about this and I don't know, it's it's just it's just it's like creepy but with a real story and you know a real background story. Oh I, t I take this tree. Wait, we have one. I will wait for maybe more saplings to fall down here. Hello. Didn't we already k kill one tree? There should be saplings around here as well. Oh, and sticks. This is like really cool. Uh, so yeah, I started reading like books about psychopaths and, 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 and you know, the thing is, um, it's kind of, somehow it's fascinating how this world can, oh wow, this is just an oak tree. How this world can create people. I mean, these guys, these people are uh, they are nature made, right? I mean, of course, there's like, I have found out, for example, that there's like two types of psychopaths, factor one and factor two. Factor two is also called, but it's not a clinical term, it's also called a sociopath. This is what people use for, I don't know, people who behave without boundaries in, in society, I guess. Um, which, which would not happen to a factor one psychopath, I guess, because as much as I have read now, I know that they are, for for example, very obedient when it comes to law. Because there is a big misconception, right, um, that psychopaths actually are the serial killers. Yes, they can be, but 
there is many more outside uh, of prisons, of jails, uh, running free, and they do basically nothing. So they are nice people most of the time. They're in high positions. Um, yeah, the thing, the only thing I really don't like about it is that they are highly manipulative. This is like you, you never know, even if, if someone is really nice. Um, you never, you never know if this person really means what they say. Um, it's a little bit, I don't know, it's a little bit strange. But hey, this is our world. So this is the world we live in. <laughs> so you have to actually, you know, I also did this because I want to wow. Because I also want to understand uh, the place I have to deal with, right? Uh, in my everyday life, of my life. Um, so yeah, this was maybe also a little bit of a mo mo motiva motivation, motiva motivation, motivation. Oh, yeah, this is <laughs> yeah, English is hard. <laughs> so I'm, you know. I got what I wanted. I wanted a little bit of creepy stories. Uh, of course, I got a lot of creepy stories, actually. You just have to, you know, search for it on YouTube, for example, and then then you get, like, the worst documentaries where people have slaughtered the family members and stuff like that. Okay, this is maybe a little bit over the top because it's a true story, which makes it really creepy. But, yeah, it's, it's like, you know... For me, it's it's only fascinating that nature has created human beings who basically cannot feel emotions because this is what the definition of a psychopath is, right? People, these people don't feel emotions. That doesn't mean that they are automatically bad, but it can happen that they make dumb sheesh because of that, because they don't feel what an emotion is. Um, but there's also many, many examples where, you know, where these people basically are helping the society and I think they can be very helpful as surgeons, for example, because they don't, because of uh, them not feeling emotions, they are fearless, for example, and uh, you don't want a surgeon who um, makes a bad cut during your operation. Um, you know, you don't want this to happen while you are being operated on the table uh, in a surgery. And uh, and out of a sudden, your surgeon's sta hand starts shaking because he loses, you know, he loses control over his hand because he's afraid to hurt you or whatever. This, for example, cannot happen to a psychopath as far as I've understood because they have no fear and uh, this is basically you know a, a little cut in I don't know in in your stomach or so can make you bleed from the inside for hours and then you just die so um, I I would appreciate if this would not happen to me um, you know you get you get I think you get the idea um, yeah this is how basically what I read uh, about this stuff recently The problem is, you know, my life um, was a little bit, uh, let's be honest, boring the last few days. So there's actually not much uh, I could share here about my life. Um, also, like topic wise, because I was, you know, I was more chilling <laughs> than doing anything else, to be honest. <laughs> it's like, you know, I the only thing I basically really do and despise a little bit, I was in the city recently as i told you as well in this one video and um i saw the people in the city and everyone is like you know they are everyone has like fancy stuff um like fancy jackets everyone is walking in like branded sheesh right and they feel so superior to other people it's it's really funny i i don't know if just me if it's just me, I, I really love to watch stuff like that <laughs> in nature because, you know, these people, it feels a little bit like they, because of that, like they lose, like they lose uh, 
you know, con contact to reality a little bit because they are so fancy. Um, it's um, maybe it's just me who finds this funny, but I'm I'm also a little bit strange, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, what I wanted to do, and again, we fused up everything. So yeah, here I would like to make like a yeah, like a wall of glass or something, and then you can basically look at the at it all the time and then it, when it rains or a thunderstorm comes you're sitting here maybe here will be later like something because this will be more stories so this will be i think this will be the, the oops the storage room later hey i want to go up here and then we make basically the second story and this will be a, a little bit bigger than of course so there will be also like so basically we created the basement now and later there will be two stores here as well. This this is basically the idea. Oh yeah, wait, we have uh, we have this here. So let's make me let's make a travel bed. A traveling bed. I, I don't know how to say this by the way. I just I just say it. <laughs> um what we want or what I want is a blast furnace where we can smelt like stone and everything uh, a little bit faster especially like iron maybe not stone but iron stone this is the funny thing you can't not smell stone in the blast furnace i don't know why you still have to you still have to have all the three furnaces one for food of course i can understand that but i mean if you have no other opportunity like to for example go uh, let's have more of here. If you have no other opportunity, then because you are, you know, traveling, then I would. Oh, there's. Ooh, look at that. Then I would, of course, go with the standard furnace because you can basically do everything with the standard furnace. But at home, I would like to have the variety of, you know, a blast furnace, a smoker, and a normal furnace. This is what. I have always a little bit more of these. Oh, this is actually another big vein, isn't it? Here we go. So yeah, the first episode of this new sleep well and this new version will be definitely us building house. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe two or three episodes because this will definitely take a while now. Yeah, unluckily I had to do this. I mean, first of all, I kind of wanted that, but then, you know, it, it was a little bit annoying because I was I was a little bit angry that we lost all of the all of the progress. Here we are. And he, so here we are now. Uh, wait, I want to make a proper staircase to here, for example. And then we can go like here. This is actually good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then here, 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 and then here's the house. Very good. So we have the mine close to the house. Also could make a house here and then build over this. This would be also cool. But then when we mine here, no. This would be a little bit too much, I guess. Um, maybe I will also fill this out with... with uh, with dirt because we have so much but then the problem is where do I make the entrance then um, oh and by the way this hmm. I mean when I already make this here like that and here will be here will be a floor anyway because this house should not be this small, right? I mean, this is just for the beginning to to survive in nature during the storms and everything. But I would prefer if the house would be maybe this big. And then, of course, this storage room would go inside the house, I mean, uh, in this direction as well. So maybe I was a little bit too fast with building uh, this one wall here, but hey. 
better to have a wall and be safe and sound than not having a wall and not being safe and sound. This sounded like Donald Trump in 2020 in 2020? No, 2018? Oh, I don't I don't actually know uh, when he was elected. <laughs> But yeah, I, I didn't mean to sound like him, so... Um, and one more of these, because we will make need this more. Uh, yeah, actually we need stone to burn the stone, so we will need three of these. And I think we need another furnace, so we will definitely need... Oh, I have to get rid of the some stuff here, it's like too much too much uh, bad stuff in my inventory. Also the wood is like, <laughs> no one needs this. Oh, from, of these we just need three, I guess. You can just basically take these three. Yeah, you can burn them. Nice, nice. So you get like smooth, clean stone, I guess, or smooth stone or whatever this is called. Smooth stone, yeah. So we need three of these. Oh. And the only bad thing about the blast furnace is... Oh, <laughs> bad thing. The, the annoying thing about the blast furnace is that it needs so much iron. It's so annoying. Why does it need so much iron? I don't understand. Is this the final? Yes, it is. So this is like a decent, a decent thingy, right? And then we can make a balcony here as well. So we can close this off then later. But still, we, we, we keep the view, don't worry. Don't worry about that, we keep the view, definitely. Mm -hmm. And then we make the house here. This looks so great, this looks so great. And we have to remember that in this direction, I would like to mark this somehow. That in this direction is a black oak, black oak, dark oak. <laughs> there, there is a dark oak forest, which makes completely sense, right? Because you can see already from here that there is like a birch biome, a complete birch biome, and then always on the oh wait, here's a lot of stone actually. That on the on the borders with the birch biome, there's always a dark oak forest. So this is actually pretty convenient. And maybe we are lucky because normally, um, as you have seen, I made like this one, this one uh, particular stream extra for the pay garden to find it. And I failed miserably. <laughs> miserably because, yeah, we didn't find it. Haha, <laughs> who would have thought? I mean, you didn't find what you wanted to find, then you failed. This is, um, yeah, life. Mm, I'm just hoping... that there's none of these freaks right now here. So we can actually... Let's have another one. Can't go for the coal, yeah. <laughs> we can never have enough coal. I mean, we already have a stack and like 47 or something. But to be honest, in the very beginning, coal is one of the most precious items you want to have. And iron. And other stuff. But coal also. is very up high in the rank of precious stuff you want to have in the beginning. See, because then you can make like torches, and this is very important. Hello, can you please? I want to use all of these. And maybe there's also iron. I, I mean, I just want to check. I, I don't want really to... I don't know what happened, to be honest. My, my brain is somehow not working when it comes to English now. But, I, I don't, you know, I don't want to force my luck too much. Uh, this is what I wanted to say. <laughs> Do we have some stone? Yes, nice. Very, uh, very well. 
Very good. So, okay, now we need um, yeah, we need another furnace because it's basically a furnace, a furnace in the middle, then these these three here, and then a helmet. And this is the most annoying part because this is in the beginning. Iron is so rare uh, that you will have trouble because I don't know what your priorities are. You know, m most people I think go. Uh, for uh, iron tools and, and armor in the very beginning. But I also wanted to make like maybe a chest plate, you know. Uh, is it, uh, where is this here? What I wanted to do definitely is a shield. To do, to do, yeah, to make a shield. <laughs> yeah, this is what I saw in the last episode as well that I made this mistake with do or make a, an appointment and I still haven't looked it up. It just, it just, I got just the reminder right now, <laughs> like very spontaneous. So, um, we have the most important things done, which means a little base like here. We are burning these here, so we can also make now, finally we can make this blast furnace here look at that precious item so we can smelt like this stuff much faster in here now right so if we get now i cannot even afford to make oh we have food okay nice so we have a few things that uh, we really really might need later <coughs> and uh, yeah this is it for now this is it for this episode. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you, of course, fell asleep. And uh, see you in the next one. Leave a like and subscribe if you can do that. If you are not, if you didn't fall asleep now. So see you soon. Gamba out. Ciao.